When I'm painting these, my I have, I have, if I don't have a thought, if I go, well, I just want to make a painting, right? And I'm going to do a landscape. I'm going to have a hard time with that because that's a vague thought. I'm going to have a hard time pulling anything together, communicating anything. Okay, so I decide I want to do a landscape. So let's narrow it down. I want to do a landscape, but I want to do a waterfall. And I want to do a waterfall that has this emotion. I want it to be, I want the movement of the water. I want the solitude of the place. I want the sense of light. These are concrete thoughts. This is a, this is my impetus. You know, I want to make a land, a waterfall that you feel the movement. You have to you have to have a thought <coughs> other than just I want to be creative. And so this class, I'm going to help you guys to really develop that muscle. So this painting. So here I am doing a non rec This is these are these are much harder for me, believe it or not, than these. Because I have no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> they evolve. But the great thing about painting something like this is it makes this stronger. Painting something like this makes this stronger. How? Okay, so when I'm painting this, my own, I have one question really that I ask myself. How do I make paint interesting? You know, you're not hanging on an armature of representation of something of drama, of the sunset or a, an ocean. You know, you're not hang, you're hanging it on paint. And in the Art Institute, we call these things the plastic elements. The plastic elements are malleable. You, they change. That's why they're called plastic. That's color, line, edge, form. These things can all be manipulated. Well, when you're making a landscape, you're hanging the manipulation on an armature of representation. You can't, you know, the Fauvist, which was French for wild beast, and right after the Impressionists, they were painting paintings with, instead of uh, green for, for trees, they paint them purple. Mm. You know, they paint the sky pink. Or, so they were pushing these concepts of the plastic elements. But when you're trying to do something traditional and representational, you are, you're not limited but you're kind of held at blue sky, green grass, these things. When you're doing non-rep things, I like to have a sense of backlighting. I want them to feel like they're, they're lit. So that's a motivation. I also love edges, and edges is a big deal in paint. You know, hard edges, soft edges, lost edges. Um, so the fact that I, I'm aware of how to make a waterfall have these soft and hard edges, allows me to put soft and hard edges in this non-rep. Being more aware of how they manipulate in this makes these stronger. Does that make any sense? That's what this class is about, you guys. The thoughts behind painting.